Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fidel and in this video we are going to look at how to detail a reinforced concrete slab according to BS8110. But before we go on, I would like you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and also to click the like and the share buttons so that others could also have access to this video so let's begin this is a typical reinforced concrete slab of an upper floor and it is made up of nine panels From your basic knowledge of reinforced concrete design, a visual look or inspection of this panel shows that the length of the longer side is 5 meters, while the length of the shorter side is 4 meters. Now, this means that if you want to find the ratio to determine its criteria, whether it is a one way slab or a two way slab, obviously, from what we can see here, this is a two way slab. Now, if we go ahead to look at this panel, you will observe that the length of the longer side is 4, while the length of the shorter side is 2. So, obviously, it's a one-way spanning slab, and it should be treated as such. So, the, in detailing, there are certain criteria that must be adopted in accordance with the code. That is, in this case, BS8110, to ensure that the reinforcements are adequately placed in the right positions. Now, this is a typical example of a continuous slab, and you have beams as supports. Now, the beams, in this case, we can visualize a scenario so that we'll know how we can place our reinforcements so typically for con continuous slabs in most cases the supports usually produce negative moments while the spans produce positive moments and so what this means is that when this when detailing um, slabs Reinforcements should be adequately provided at the supports as well as at the spans. So what this means is that if we can visualize this, let's um, try to visualize this. Now, if this is your, uh, what do you call it now? Your, let's draw a normal bending moment diagram. It means that somewhere around here, you may likely have bending moment occurring. And then at the spans, you may likely have it going this way, up to the supports. And then, sorry. So it continues that way. So what this means is that if we are to draw the a typical bending moment diagram should be something like this, meaning that there is a need for reinforcements. And these reinforcements, because of the convention, the ones at the support is taken as negative moments. And so there may be other effects like torsion. And there is a need for reinforcements to be placed. In this case, it will be at the top of the orientation, meaning that you are going to have top bars. Now, at the main support, at the, at the main, uh, at the spans, there is a need to place reinforcements at the bottom. So the same thing applies to this. There, there is a need for supports, reinforcements at the support. So um, top beams or um, top reinfor uh, reinforcement bars will be provided at this support also. So we are going to draw this now so that we will understand better what we are trying to say because wherever most times in design you have to place reinforcements where there is you know a relatively high 
uh, value of bending moments. So, another look again at the at the uh, orientation of the reinforcements is that if we are going to draw, we will introduce a reinforcement. Especially if this is a two-way slab, it means that you are going to have main reinforcement bars spanning both ways. So what it means is that, on principle, the length of the shorter side will always have reinforcements that are main reinforcement bars that are parallel to it. However, because it is a double or it's a two-way spanning slab, the length of the longer side will also accommodate reinforcement bars. The only difference is that the main reinforcement bars along the shorter side will be placed at the bottom. While the, um, the main reinforcement bars spanning the long length of the longer side, which we can always assume to play a role of distribution bars, will also be placed at the bottom, but on top of the main reinforcement bars. We are going to look at all these things when we begin to draw the section of the reinforcement bars. So, while, we are, while you are watching this video, feel free to give your comments or ask questions. Now, the other thing that must be considered is that we have this area here is discontinuous. So this is the outer boundary of the slab around that vicinity. This is also an outer boundary. Now, if you look at the second panel, we have discontinuous portion around here, but it is continuous around this point, and it is continuous around this point, and also around this point. Now, if we are going to introduce reinforcements, especially for the ones at the boundary, we are going to introduce main reinforcements, we are going to draw a reinforcement that is such that it should start and probably let's get to the points here and then we will introduce depending this is not drawn to scale but you must consider that the um there is concrete cover and also you must consider the depth of the slab in this case we are assuming that it's going to be 150 so if you have reinforcement and um, concrete cover of 20 mm so that means that we should have your reinforcement bars placed in between 150 minus 20 at the top of the top cover uh, at the top of the reinforcement of the uh, of the B of the uh, slab and also minus 20 of the concrete cover at the bottom of the slab so that should, we should be left with 110 so even if we want to if we're not drawn to scale this should be 110 however i'm looking at the size of it now if we are going to introduce a callback this callback is going to act as a form of anchorage. Remember that we mentioned that there, need, there is a need for reinforcement at the top bar. So it's also going to play that role. Now it depends on the codes. For us, we are going to consider the fact that the uh, length the length of this side is four thousand millimeters or four meters so ideally the callback should be about one third of it so even if we take uh, let's say we take 1300 and press enter so we likely have a scenario like this so what this means is that if i click the line weight so what we may likely have is that we will have reinforcements that is like that. So what this means is that 